A Chinese President Xi Jinping says Beijing and Washington must find ways to get along to safeguard world peace and development. The tensions have been soaring between the two superpowers over Taiwan. The Chinese leader says improving communication and cooperation with the U.S. will help increase global stability and certainty. He also acknowledged tensions between both sides and troubles around the world saying these are not peaceful times. The Chinese Defense Ministry also extending an olive branch to Washington. A spokesperson says Beijing is willing to have military communications with the U.S., but red lines remain. American lawmakers have recently visited the island, much to Beijing's objection. Beijing sees the trips as breaches of the One China policy. Officials say Washington is trying to change the status quo in the Taiwan Strait. The comments come after U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said Beijing wants to speed up the seizure of the island. Well, let's get more from Simon Marks. He joins us live from Washington, D.C. Simon, President Xi Jinping saying he is willing to explore cooperation with the U.S. in this new era, likely referring to his third term as China's leader. But is the U.S. in any mood to cooperate with Beijing after labelling China its most significant competitor? Look, I think there's no question that the United States will actually welcome uh, these overtures from uh, President Xi and absolutely see them as uh, directly connected to the events of last weekend at the uh, Party Congress uh, in Beijing, particularly the elevation of Wang Yi, uh, the uh, senior foreign diplomat uh, to the Politburo, and also the elevation of the Chinese ambassador to the United States to a uh, higher uh, level within the Chinese Communist Party uh, leadership. Both of those were interpreted here as uh, Beijing sending a signal to Washington that it really wanted to place a greater focus on the difficulties that exist in the Chinese relationship with the United States. And now these comments from President Xi, I think here, uh, will be read uh, as the Chinese underscoring that they are indeed sending that message. Uh, it, of course, doesn't matter magically make the difficulties in the bilateral relationship disappear, uh, but it certainly sets the stage for at least the possibility of more dialogue in an effort to resolve them. Still, China has made it clear. Red lines remain. How is the US uh, planning to navigate China's red line regarding Taiwan? Well, there's no indication that the United States is going to compromise uh, on the positions that it's taken towards Taiwan. President Biden, of course, finds himself uh, domestically in a bit of a difficult place on Taiwan because he is under increasing pressure uh, from uh, Capitol Hill, including from many members of his own party, among them the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi, who, of course, made that controversial visit to Taipei a few weeks ago, uh, under pressure to take a tougher line to towards Taiwan than certainly the president, the secretary of state or his national security advisor currently seem willing to take. Uh, that, of course, doesn't mean uh, that they are ready uh, in any sense to accept uh, the possibility of uh, Taiwan being taken back uh, into the mainland's fold. But it does indicate that the president uh, has a little bit uh, of his own uh, navigation to kind of work out as conversations ensue uh, about Taiwan, an issue that absolutely remains very much at the heart of the difficulties that exist uh, between Beijing and Washington, D.C. Mm. Uh, perhaps a way to uh, find that cooperation, an uh, opportunity to find that cooperation uh, when President Biden and President Xi uh, are expected to meet on the sidelines of the G20 next month. Uh, any sense of if that meeting is going ahead? Well, certainly President Biden has indicated that if it is possible for him to meet President Xi face to face in Bali, he is very keen so to do. Uh, and uh, if indeed the Chinese president is going to travel to Indonesia for that summit, uh, then I think absolutely the centerpiece in many ways of the summit uh, will end up being a, a bilateral meeting that may take place in Bali uh, between the US and Chinese leaders. There's a flip side to that coin 
seen, uh, though, for the US president. On the one hand, he's very keen to meet the Chinese leader in Bali. But on the other hand, he is very keen to avoid Russian President Vladimir Putin if he indeed uh, attends that summit. So we're going to see some very interesting diplomatic footwork efforts to try and uh, secure a meeting between President Biden and President Xi and efforts absolutely to reject the idea of any kind of meeting between President Biden and Vladimir Putin if the Russian leader goes to that summit. Well, Simon, do keep us posted. Simon Marks in Washington, D.C. Thank you.